Hi everyone, Summer's Bunnies here. So yesterday I went to Pets at Home and I got all the basic things which will last about a month and then I got the stuff in this bag but I'll start over here first. So the first two things I got were the Burgess Tasty Nuggets for rabbits and guinea pigs and these have mint for to ear digestion. Sorry, camera didn't focus there but <laughs> I'm not quite sure how it works but apparently it does. I'll just show you some of them now. Oh yeah, help me with them on top of here because Bailey was helping himself when I opened that one. Bailey! So, <laughs> Bailey! Good boy. He really does like these ones actually. Good boy. I then got the large wood shavings and these are suitable for pretty much every pet. Um, I will turn it around and show you the back. But it's really quite big <laughs> so I can't. Um, um, I know a lot of people don't like wood shavings, but these ones are dust extracted um, and all that other stuff. Bailey, what are you doing? No, no more. Um, and they are pretty much dust free. Um, I've used these like all my pets' lives. Like, what? Lives. <laughs> I've never had a problem, so yeah. I then got three different types of hair. Bailey! <laughs> Um, so I usually just get the dandelion and marigold. Um, it's got like greeny and browny sort of stalks, and it tastes of dandelion and marigold. So I do like this one a lot. It's got little marigold chunks in. That's a piece of one there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that orange thing. I think that's part of the marigold. Yeah, that's quite nice. Here. Then there is the barn dried forest, and this one is a lot more green compared to the others. But um, I'm just going to test it and see which one I like best, really. <laughs> then I got this, just the pets at home medium here. And and this is suitable for feeding or bedding. Um, just extracted and a lot of other stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this one more for just the guinea pigs bedding. Because I do like to put some here in the bedroom um, on a night and stuff. So this is the medium here. And they used to be all on this before I started using Excel, but it's quite a decent brand, yeah. <laughs> so before I move on to the toys, I just want to show you these fleeces which I got. And I use fleeces for the rabbit's front rooms, and these are from Donnell Mill. They were only £2, which I think is really good value, especially for Donnell Mill. So they come in all sorts of colours, I'm sitting on the green one right now. <laughs> the, um, I forgot what other colours there is. But there's orange, blue and pink. Um, and these are quite thick. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's put these out of the way and move on to the toys. Billy! Billy, what are you doing? I see. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to start with the toys first and then I'll show you the treats. So this is the first thing I got. And this is the Lufa Teddy Bear. And I think I'm going to give this to Billy. So you can't really read that, but it's suitable for rabbits, hamsters, mice and gerbils. I'll just show you the back. So it basically just says that it's a great treat for small animals and they can chew it. It's made of vegetable dyes and loofah. So, yeah. I then got a loofah carrot and this is going to go to Indy. So that'll just be the same as the teddy bear. Um, oh, this one's suitable for more small animals. I don't know why the other one's so different. Hmm. I then got these brush and chew things um, and this is just a salt and mineral chew which is filled with parsley and chlorophyll so this is the inside of it so this is suitable for all small animals well rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters and mice and it's fed as a treat it's got a lot of things in there <laughs> it's got alfalfa too and 3% fibre but the last thing I got was this woodland stick and nut chew and this is for the guinea pigs because in the morning they like to chew that kebab thing which I called a kebab in the last video um, so I thought I'd just get them this and then they can pull this as well and chew this so yeah so now I'm just going to move on to the treats so this was the first thing I got and these are the XL dandelion rolls really <laughs> um, and it's just four in a pack um, they get one of these about once every two weeks but I absolutely love them. <laughs> so then I got these pick and mix carrot bites. 
And I think this brand is relatively new to pets at home, but um, yeah, they really love these. <laughs> they really so I tried to open them and the packet exploded, so now I've got a load of rabbit treats everywhere and Billy's eating them, so I'm just going to have to go and clean them up. Well, he managed to get about two, so at least I know he likes them. Anyway, I then got the Pick and Mix Crunchy Sticks. Um, sorry. And, yep, they've had these before and I like these ones as well. Billy! Just <laughs> such a naughty rabbit. As I was saying, <laughs> they've had these before. And I like these ones too, especially Indy, so that would be nice for them. I also got the Pick and Mix Hearty Nibbles. Um, I've never tried these ones before, they look quite nice actually. Not that I'm going to eat them or anything. Um, so yeah. I also got the Pick and Mix Munchie Wheels, but I think my dad brought them in here last night. Um, I'm not quite sure he's put them, so... <laughs> then I got the Woodland Sunshine Munch Mix thing. And this just looks like a muesli. Um, have a look at the back. Right, composition. Okay, so it has flaked corn, flaked green pea, carrot slices. Um, oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Hmm, see what you think of this. The last thing I got was these mini alfalfa bales. And I've never tried these before, but I've heard that guinea pigs like them. So, well, guinea pigs like alfalfa. <laughs> Do you want one, Bailey? Good boy. Oh,